All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dungeons. I hope everyone's doing great today. I know that I am. We are hopping right back into our game save, and the only thing that I have done, which is actually what I was doing right before I started recording here, is getting our blacksmith items completed and upgraded. So that was our um, buzzy nest here and our torment quiver. I did put them in there maybe at the end of the last episode, maybe after I recorded the last episode, um, to get upgraded because they were such low levels. And uh, I just needed to go through and do some missions to get those upgraded so that we could continue on our path of Howling Peaks. So I hope everyone is enjoying this um, series of Howling Peaks. Um, we're going to head over to that location now. And we're going to check it out. So there are two things that are still kind of left on our list for us to do. One thing is to unlock the secret location, secret mission, here in Howling Peaks, which is what we'll probably do today. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time to do. And then the other one is obviously actually wrap it up, get to the Gale Sanctum, and then get our way through that. And it looks does look pretty cool. It looks like it's going to be a good time up there. But I want to get to the secret mission today. And in order to do that, we do need to progress relatively far through the um, wind swept peaks here. So we're going to go back through it again. This is going to be what our third time going through it now. Well, kind of two and a half, right? This will be our second and a half because we didn't make it all the way through the first time around. We ultimately died. Um, but if you guys do want to see a full recap of that, I highly recommend checking out the previous two episodes. It was a two parter, two part series. Typically it is for these first level missions in the DLCs. They're a little bit longer than normal. Uh, but it was a great time, so I'm going to skip past this again if you do want to catch that. Highly recommend checking it out. But from my understanding, the secret location for this is um, relatively close to the end of the level, so I'm going to make my way through it, and then I'll bring it back once we find the location, and then we're actually going to go and travel to the location. So, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so I have gone through a decent amount of the level here. We are actually right at the end. <clears throat> so where you want to look for this is after you get through the elevator phase after you get through the large area where there's a lot of winds that push you back and forth and then you have to go through some waves of enemies um, through some different gates as well it'll land you over here this is where like the the wind was and then the gates through here and then there's two different routes here so you can go lower and it'll get you to there or higher now if you take the lower i'll show you this is where we're at on the lower and uh realistically um, this isn't where you're going to want to be because it's too high up. You cannot access it. So what you actually have to do is loop around it to the higher route. So let's go that way and get it. There's also a chest down there. Um, but yeah, let's loop around on the higher route and jump down. All right, so here we go. We're on the higher route here. And as you can see, it takes you right above where you need to go. And a lot of these guys aren't the brightest, so they kind of fall off here. There's also some winds here, so do be careful when you come up this way. And for me, there was a chest here, but your mileage may vary. Depends. So we just come up here and then, oh, I guess I already clicked on it. So I guess I didn't even need to be like right next to it. I was like on top of it and it worked perfectly fine. So that's kind of strange. I guess I didn't even need to hop down. But OK, so we are in the secret area now. Well, the area where we'll find the secret location. I have switched over to our climbing gear because I highly recommend if you're going through um, Howling Peaks to wear climbing gear. It just helps a ton against um, all the winds that you will encounter as you are going through these different levels here. So right, We got a bunch of enemies here, but nothing too crazy. If we run into one of those big dudes again, though, I'm not going to be super thrilled. Those, like, big bull-looking guys are a not fun to deal with, so... I gotta say, I feel like I like the winter one a little bit more than this. The secret location on the winter one was actually really fun to find. So it does look like we have some little battle areas to go through here. So what I'll do is I'll battle through this and I'll bring you guys back once we actually find the pedestal with the secret location on it. Alright guys, so we've actually made it here. So it's just down in this lower corner over here. You do have to fight through some waves of enemies there. But there we go. We have gotten our new location. The colossal... Ooh, I didn't read it quick enough. Colossal something um, that we are going to go and explore. 
But for the time being, we need to make our way through the rest of this level and kind of just wrap things out. I don't think there's really much more here for us. <clears throat> there is one chest up this way that we'll probably want to grab. Ooh, we do need to be careful there. So, what I'll do... Ooh, some crossbows. I'll uh, complete this level, and then I'll bring you guys back once we get back to the camp and we head to the secret mission level. All right, so we did make it through the Windswept Peaks. We did get to the secret location, as you guys saw just a second ago. And we are back at our camp, and we're ready to head to the Colossal Rampart. So let's get it. Um, it does look like there's a really interesting-looking secret item. Actually, two items here that we could find, too. An artifact. Ooh, actually, a couple more things. I'm just overlooking a bunch of stuff. So let's get into it. Let's see what it looks like. Um, again, I think I mentioned this in the Winter DLC. The... Uh, Secret mission loading screens are always the same, like always the same, regardless of where you're going to. It's always like this dungeony looking entryway with this random pyramid looking spider web in the forefront here. So um, this is taking a hot minute to load. We'll see how long this is. This might end up being two parts, depending on how long this secret area is. I don't recall. Like, I think secret areas aren't typically super long. Uh, but yeah, definitely recommend wearing your climbing gear through this place. We also did get the updraft tome, so it launches enemies into the air, stunning and damaging them, um, which seems pretty cool. Uh, we could try it out, I guess. I don't know how it'll be, um, but I guess it can't hurt, right? Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know if I like it more than our... Oop, bag it up. I don't know if I like it more than our... Uh bees our bees are always amazing to have on us so we need to locate the outpost i think i'm gonna switch over to our bees again i really like our bees they're just a nice backup to have here so let's take a look we do have like five we have a thousand different ways to go we have a wave of enemies that we need to fight here let's get our bees put down that's why they're there specifically for this purpose oh spiders okay um i feel like you don't typically get spiders in a wave Ooh. I don't, know if that, I don't know if that was caught on camera, but I accidentally clicked off the screen there. It's kind of funny. Happens. It happens. Our build is still amazing. I mean, it, it has been amazing since we really refined it and got it up and going. There's no doubt about it. Ooh, we got some flaming boys back here. Doesn't sound like that. I should have said that, right? Oh, 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 that did not feel good, and I can't move. This sucks. Okay. Yeah, these guys suck. Holy smokes. They're really fast, too. I just want to see. Is there anything up that way? I don't think so. Nah, there's nothing up that way. All right, let's keep moving here. Um, and seeing which way we even need to go. So we need to go to the left of there. Let's go this way. Do some exploration. See what we can find. Um, I definitely want to unlock some of that gear and some of those artifacts. Because it seemed really interesting. At least the one looked like it had a really interesting design. Um, that you typically wouldn't see. Hate those guys that spawn in the ice chunks. Okay, there's a little way back here. But nothing too crazy. Ah, there he is. I knew there was one of those guys hanging out around here. Oh, oh we were so close. Yeah, I hate these guys. Get out of here. Um, we do have a gate that way? I don't know. I don't think we can access it. Maybe there's a way up top here that we could unlock that. Um, it doesn't really look like it. Can we can we get in here at all? No? Is this just a dead end? Oh, okay. That's the one thing I'm not, like, a big fan of with some of this stuff is they, they have these different ways that you can go, and then it just completely dead ends, which I understand that's part of the mechanic of this type of game is that, it, you know, you there, there's an incentive there to explore as much as you possibly can and with the chance that you might find something, but no guarantees. But I feel like more often than not, it's not really worth it to explore ways that are off the main path like once in a while maybe you'll get lucky maybe you'll find something uh but most times you typically don't so at least that's that's how i feel i feel like i don't typically have um a lot of luck 
with finding stuff off the beaten path. But do we still do it? Of course we still do it, because we're still curious. This is a very interesting area. It's like there's like a house like kind of half in the side of this mountainside here. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that, but you know, whatever. It's cool, there's a, like a windmill here. Can we go this way? Anything worthwhile down here? Enemies, I mean, that's not really worth our time. It just looks like there's probably two ways to get to where we need to go, an upper and a lower. And again, climbing gear for the win really, really helps against those winds there. All right, we got through that. Yeah, I guess there's a whole, probably a whole upper area then. Maybe it doesn't have as much wind to it. This is probably just the easier way to go through it. This is what I'm assuming. We'll see when we get up here, because I am curious. Well, it seems like there's still wind up here, but it's not like... I guess it's not as crazy. Or maybe that's if you fall down. Maybe if you fall down. Yeah, it's about the same up here, I'd say. Huh. Okay. I feel like, if anything, it was shorter up there. It was, it was quicker to get through there. Noise. Oh, I completely missed that guy. Okay, nothing over there. Let's keep moving along here. Now, typically the secret areas are relatively quick to go through, um, but not necessarily. So, like, I think it's Arc Arcaven is relatively quick and easy to go through, especially if you've played it before and you know what areas. Or fine to like skip and so on. So. Alright, I mean, this is not. Not even bad. Taking all these guys out. But to be fair, our setup is pretty crazy right now, so. Back it up. Get more of our arrows. We do have a pot here. The one thing I do wish. Wander the wall. What do we gotta do first? Are we not supposed to go this way? I don't see why I can't go this way. The delay that I have on my dagger is just extremely rough. I don't know. I'm guessing I'm not I wasn't supposed to go this way. Maybe that's the exit? I have no idea. go up this way. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we do have a chest, so I guess it was a little worthwhile. Um, but we did just get some plain old climbing gear. Nothing too crazy. Gonna get rid of this. Guard's armor. I don't think we've had that before. I'm gonna hold on to that until we get to the end of the, the level here and check out if that was um, something of interest. Now, it did say there is another secret here. We did find that one, so I guess that counted as one. And then there's probably another one hanging out here somewhere, so... I'm guessing once we go up this way, we'll probably encounter it. Get wrecked. Alright. We do have something here. Ah! Deactivate the pillar. Okay, I'm right here. Can I deactivate this boy? What do I gotta do? I have no idea. It's not very, it, it's not very, it's not explaining anything to me. Maybe we just have to defeat the enemies, is that all we gotta do? I mean, that's all I could think of, unless we were supposed to go back. I have no idea. I don't know if I would just want to sit here and keep going through enemies. Deactivate the pillar. Well, that's where we need to go. How am I supposed to deactivate this pillar? Could you please explain to me how to do this? All right, um, I guess I'll look around a little bit and see what we can find. Okay, I think I figured it out. <clears throat> so I think you just have to stay within this radius for a certain period of time and fight off enemies. 
um, and it'll kind of puff out air every so often to try to push you out, but you just stay in there and you should be good to go. So um, we're heading into the outpost now. Let's see what we got. Find an exit. Okay. I, I love how that's, that is. It's like, there's nothing else you need to do. Just get out of there. You've just entered into this new area. Now, please find your way out of here. There's a chest up there. I do see that. And I can't get through here right now. Okay, so we need a key, and then there will be that, and I guess that's our exit. So, I mean, it makes sense. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there's nothing else here. Let's go through these doors. Um, I mean, this is a cool little area. We're definitely going to have a fight here because they always put the stupid gates up when there's going to be a fight like that. They give us a lot of area to move around. I'll give them that for this one. Sometimes it's like, oh, you have three inches to move around. Oh, well, that's why. Because there's a lot of enemies that are spawning in here. Alright, alright. We got this in the bag. Okay, we did. We got him. Got that. And we got a chest. Look at that. I'll take that. And then we can hit this button. I have no idea what this button does. Why are we glowing like that? What is... Oh, we have an effect on us. That's why. I was like, what? Okay, so, did that open anything additional? Maybe on the outside it did? Yeah, because I don't see anything else over here. Nothing over there, nothing over there. This is the only other door. Take this path, okay. Um, jeez, this gets confusing. Oh, okay. Are you guys seeing what I see here? We are gonna have some airflow that we're gonna have to deal with here for sure whoa okay okay i did not mean to do that i don't know what happened there okay um there we go so that goes over to there and then when, where do we lose it here? Um, oh, no, we want that there. And then we need to move this one. Just like so. And that opens the gate. There we go. A little bit of a puzzle here, but nothing too crazy. Really cool. I love how they integrated some of this stuff into here. Okay, I don't know what that opened for us. What did that open? This? Jeez. These guys are not friendly right off the bat. All right. Does seem like we're looking for a key here. Holy smokes. Look at all these guys just hanging out. Does look like we'll have another puzzle here. That's for sure. Let's line it up to where it logically makes sense right from what we're seeing here. There we go. Um, and then probably one more somewhere over in this direction. Yep, there we go. Hit that just like so, and then that should blow that out, and then that'll give us a button that we can press. <laughs> it opens something again for us, I don't know exactly where. Where did it open something for us? Because that's the only... That's the only way to go right there. Um, is confused? Question mark. What's going on here? Where do we need to go? Back down, maybe? Because that's the only way I could think of. Maybe that's what we just had to do, is just press all those different buttons and then we have to go back down? Anything open in here? No. Okay. Anything open down here? No. And then this is open now. Okay, so yeah. Okay, that's what we had to do. So we got him. Did we find all the secrets? No, we actually are missing a secret, surprisingly. I feel like we would have found a secret. Alright, that'll unlock that. Then we do have a chest down here with uh, nothing too crazy in it. Is this our way out? Follow the wall once again. Okay, so wow. This might be a little bit longer of an episode here. I am actually kind of surprised. Let's see. We do have a lot of stuff to explore here, so I guess I'll keep going. I'm 
bring guys back once we find something cool. All right, it really didn't take me that long. I just kind of came down this way and I found another pathway here. Whoa, okay. Into some like mines. Whoa, with exploding TNT. Yeah, we're definitely gonna wanna be careful and not hit any of that. Oh, we have this here. So obviously we're gonna have a boss battle or a wave battle, I should say, not a boss battle. We typically don't have like boss battles. It's just these waves of enemies that we need to take out. And it is slightly annoying because you can't like spawn in the next wave until you fully completed the the first wave which i mean it's it's nice but also like when you're trying to rapidly get through things here um it can be kind of a nuisance i would say Jeez. all right i mean i think we're do whoa we're doing relatively good here oh let's avoid that please this guy is the last one over here Oh, whoa, 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 Nelly, okay. Let's um, keep our distance here as we regen a little bit of health. This is uh, not an easy area, I'm not gonna lie. I will take that apple, though, and that apple, because we were kind of low on health there. Jeez, and all of these PNT cards just exploding left and right. Alright, what do we got? These spiders? Are these the last of the the wave that we need to go through? Be nice if it was. No, it is not. There's even more to come as well. Jeez, talk about... Oh, jeez, there's an invoker here too. Damn. Okay, this is actually probably one of the uh, more trickier battles that I've been in. Get our bees out here. Oh, I jumped right into that. Okay, we need to keep our distance for a hot second. Because I don't have our health potion, and that did complete it. Um, but still, I don't have a health. I have zero health here. Um, anything really great from this? I mean, not really. I mean, there are some, like, pots around here. But, like, I don't even think those are necessarily that worth it. So we're just going to get back out onto the main path here. Alright, guys. I did find another entranceway here. So we were... Over here for that minecart one, this is the main one we came out of from the uh, settlement area. And then this is another one that I found kind of hidden down here. Ah, maybe that's why I was hidden down here. There's just instant, instant ambush of enemies in here. Very interesting, like, what is that? I can't even read that, but there is the arch illager on there. You can see that for sure. Yeah, let's see. Oh, okay. It looks like we do have a lot to, to go through down here. All right. I'll keep progressing here, and I'll bring it back if we uh, encounter some waves of enemies or whatever we run into. All right. So it does look like we've gone into a, another area where it's like rescue the alpacas and the llamas, and you have to do this in order to progress. Um, so there's one right here, but there are also six of these big bull guys here. Um, and are, they're not fun to, to take out at all. Like, not at all. But, there is kind of a trick to it. If they're close enough to the front here, you can actually glitch through the front door of their pens and take them out. So you don't even have to take them all on at once. Just make sure you don't open up their different pens, um, you know, before you try to do this. Because if you click these buttons, it'll open them up. Now, sometimes they might be too far away and you might be out of luck, so you kind of just have to go with it at that point. <clears throat> or you could just wait. See that guy? We just waited long enough and he got close enough and we have a long enough reach to take him out. So, just like that, we have them all taken out. I already took these three out over here, so. We do have a chest here. Ooh, a... What is this? There's a swiftness potion. Emerald gear. I don't think we have seen this before. Ch chance to spawn emeralds when exploring and a good percent of me melee attack i also did find this wind bow 
um, which is kind of cool. But everything else we have thus far is kind of junky. This one does have three, ooh, three slots on it. But no infinity, which kind of is a bummer. I always kind of keep an eye out for infinity on bows, but anywho. All right, so we can rescue all these llamas, alpacas, whatever they might be called here. Um, we do have some of this. Um, the other thing you could do if you don't, if you're not able to strategically go about that um, and taking those big guys out, you can just do it one by one. Just make sure you don't open them all up at one time. So clicking all three buttons, um, because if you just do it at one time, you'll take on two at a time, which is definitely not as bad um, in the grand scheme of things. So, ooh, okay, we did find another secret here with another wind bow, um, which is pretty awesome that we found another one. But it doesn't really have that much compared to like this one here. So let's take a peek here. Yeah, we did actually progress relatively far forward here. Was that a secret then? Yes, we have found both of our secrets. So we can keep moving here. Can I actually get out of here or no? Do we need to go back through? Uh, if we have to go back through, that's kind of kind of crummy. It kind of looks like we need to go back through in order to get out of this area. All right, well, I'll get back on the main path then. All right, guys, I am looking at the uh, map here, and I am back on the main path. As you can see, that's where we came out before in that little secret area. And for whatever reason, maybe I just overlooked it. Maybe it was going too quick and there was a way out. But I have gone back up out this exit and progressed to this point. But looking at the map, there's a lot more to explore here in the Colossal Rampart. So I think we're going to break it into two parts because we're already sitting at 26 minutes. But hopefully this episode gave a good idea of where to find it. Um, and, and how to get there and then how to progress at least through the first half of it um, in the next part that will be coming out in the next day or so. Uh, we'll show you our part two, which will be a super fun time. I love going through this, uh, but unfortunately, we are kind of getting to the end of Minecraft Dungeons. We've almost explored a lot of the content that's available here. I mean, other than going back through the main story again, finding all the artifacts. I mean, we could do that because we started on that path. Um, but ultimately, without any new content in here, um, it's starting to dry up a little bit here. So just expect in the next probably two weeks or so, we are going to switch off of the series and onto something different. So if you have suggestions, I highly recommend leaving them down in the comment section below. I'm always open to, to hearing things. We've had some suggestions for Terraria. Um, we could do like a No Man's Sky, Anno 1800. Um, we have Disco Elysium. We have a whole bunch of games. So just let me get let me know guys let me know what you're thinking on that um we'll definitely have something to fill this space for the meantime we will come back to it once we have some additional dlc or just content if there's an event going on we'll definitely come back to this um if you are new here though and you do want to follow along hit that subscribe button and bell notification i'll let you know every single time we post a new episode here on the channel we have just recently hit a thousand subscribers so thank you guys so much who are already part of the community uh who take part in watching videos leaving comments likes whatever it may be uh, i do really really appreciate it and if you want to explore more outside of youtube with our community we do stream over on twitch on mondays and fridays at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time so that link is in the description down below along with the discord link if you do want to hang out with a cool group of people or ask questions or just keep up to date with what is going on in the community in general. I try to post over there as much as I can. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so very much, and I will catch you all in part two. Take it easy.